So today we are back at my workbench with my Dell Inspiron 2-in-1 Model 7569 laptop. I'm doing yet another video on how to change the battery. The last video I did on this, I changed battery because it was down to like an hour battery life. And about a year and a half later, it's back to that same point again where normal web browsing and stuff only lasts about an hour. Um, so time for a new battery, but why am I making another video when I just made a video about a year ago about this? Well, this time I'm doing it a little different. Instead of replacing it with the same stock three cell battery, I am going to try to install this larger four cell battery. Well, how is that going to fit inside the laptop, you say? Won't it blow things up, cause fires, who knows what kind of havoc will ensue? Well, I think this model was actually designed to take either type of battery. If you search online, you will not find anything anywhere that says that the four cell battery will fit into this laptop from all of the battery suppliers. But if you look in the Dell service manual for this thing, it actually says it ships with either a 3-cell or a 4-cell battery. I couldn't actually find what model of 4-cell battery to use, but poking around the internet and looking at other Dell laptops and the batteries they use and stuff, this 4-cell battery here that says uh, type 33YDH looks just like my 3-cell battery, except it's this much longer. So I'm thinking that is the four cell battery that Dell is referencing in the service manual. So I picked one up off Amazon for 50 bucks and figured I would try it. I figured it would work because other times when I've been in here I noticed that if you look there's actually space here for the bigger battery there's even a standoff here and here right where the screws go. So obviously, obviously this thing was designed for this battery to fit into it. And the battery connector is even positioned in the same spot. So I think the odds are pretty good as long as the BIOS doesn't freak out and say, hey, you got the wrong battery in this thing, that this will work. And I will get greatly increased battery life, hopefully. So we'll take this last screw out here. This is the old battery. Pull the connector very carefully. Take the new one. Plug it in very carefully into the same spot. Well, that fit a bit snug, but it went in. Line everything back up and that battery is in and it fits. Okay, I'm trying to remember now exactly what I just took out of there. And I'm still filming the video so I can't go back and look. This screw is here and this one is here so I can put a screw here and here. I'm actually short a screw then to go into this spot. I didn't think of that, but I don't think that matters too much to be missing the one screw. So we'll put that one there. Put this one here. If I dug around in my collection of junk and random screws and stuff somewhere, I could probably come up with another one for that spot. You don't need screws on this end because they line up with these two mounting screws on the cover. So that should be good. We should be good to go. I'm going to snap the bottom on. I'm not going to put all the screws back in right away because I'm going to flip it over and see if it powers on. Well, the keyboard lit up. That's good news. We got the Dell logo showing up here. Well, and we are in. It says the battery is only charged to 40%. But that's normal for new batteries not to come at 100%. It's actually bad for lithium batteries to store them at 100%. So 
Um, one more thing to check is I will right click my battery thing here and hit Dell Power Manager. See what it says about my new battery. Battery health, excellent. So I will close this up, put the screws back in the bottom, put it on a full charge. This battery didn't seem to puff up like a little freaking balloon pillow like the last Dell one. That's good. At least it's not as dangerous looking. <laughs> so we're good for now, I think. Well, I'll go charge this thing up and see how it does. There are a couple disadvantages to this battery upgrade. One is your laptop's going to end up weighing a little bit more. I did not weigh the 4-cell battery before I installed it, but it should weigh four-thirds of what this one weighs which is about 177 grams, which is about 6.24 ounces. Multiply that by four thirds, since we're going to four cells from three, you get about 236 grams or 8.32 ounces, which is an increase of about 59 grams or 2.08 ounces. Not much. Maybe you'd care about two ounces if you use your two-in-one laptop as a tablet much, but I hardly ever do. It doesn't really matter to me, and that weight increase is, uh, uh, is okay to have the increased battery life. The other disadvantage is a longer charge time. Bigger battery takes longer to charge, but there's something you can do about that too. My original charger, which is a 45-watt charger, Eventually got a flaky connection in the plug here, and I ended up buying a new one on Amazon. But I upgraded to the, uh, what's it say here? I upgraded to the 65 watt charger. It's got the same plug on the end, and the laptop is smart enough to understand that it's got a higher wattage charger connected to it, and it can charge the battery faster. So, get the higher wattage charger. It's a little bigger and heavier but it charges a lot quicker. Also, through the magic of video editing and the fact that I've procrastinated for nearly a month, it's already been a month since I did the battery swap you've just seen, so I have some time to get some actual results. My original battery was a 42 watt hour battery, and according to the Windows battery report thing that you can generate by going to a administrator command prompt and running power CFG slash battery report, it said my original 42 watt hour battery was really 41.9 watt hours. But Windows even new tested it as only 40.9 or so. This new 56 watt hour battery, Windows says is 55.9 design capacity, but actually only measured at 54.2 or so. Um, after about a month's use, it's already down to 52.6, so hopefully that's not a bad sign that it's going to wear out quick. But Windows is seeing the increased capacity. Uh, the battery life estimate I'm seeing is like around seven and a half hours. And I've actually never really tested that because I've never had it off the charger that long. So in a month of use, it's never actually gone dead on me. So that's a, a pretty good upgrade for... Uh, $50 to go from a worn out three cell battery that gave me one hour charge to a new four cell battery that maybe could actually get seven and a half hours of use.